Okay, so by default, the Steam Deck basically has the Vapor oh, th Kate theme set up. So that's basically going to be your default one. So it'll look like this initially. But because you've got the classic Half-Life GUI style, and it has, like, all the progress bars and everything. So that's, like, in... When you go into the settings down here, it's going to be pinned on the bottom. It's like right under appearance. You can't miss it. And then you can go in and you can change a bunch of other things like the touch screen stuff as well. So when you're in desktop mode, you can make it very, very functional. If anybody that's used Plasma should know this. I've been stuck with, I've been using mostly window managers for the most part. So yeah. So you've got a lot of options you can set up for those of you that may be new to it. Um, do I have... Where's my cursors? There it is. So we can even change our cool cursor to something different. So if we wanted, like, the one that you see in Steam all the time to show up, we can even pick Oxygen as an option. Or, yeah, various oxygen ones. So it'll give you a preview of the cursor if you mouse over it of, and what it should look like. I like this one because it's actually very similar to, like, one of the other cursor themes that I've used before plenty. But you can always go with the classic one if you want to. It's, it, it's your deck. I'm not going to judge. So you can set colors and things if you want to. Custom colors, that. So yeah, you could even customize it even further. But we're going to stick with the default co color, color scheme. So yeah, let's see, window decorations. They don't really change very much. So we could go with the breeze one, maybe? It fits okay. Yeah, it's fine. It's just N and N. Okay, so give me a second. Okay, so now all we got to do is actually we've got a couple options. I think we can. Can't we? Darn. Anyway, we can configure desktop and wallpaper. And they've already included some. So let's start from the bottom since we're closer to there. <laughs> so we can apply the troll. Oh, one gives us a bunch of desktop icons in a very deck-like shape. So we've got some standard ones that you see with most distros, the default one, various deck logo ones. Nice, nice, I like it. And then again, some default KDE ones and what all. So we are going to add an image is that up here? Yes. And we've got a Barney Calhoun one for our background now. I may change it to something different, but yeah, rising your oh um stuff pretty simple, not hard. I just got to figure out why my bottom bar is not the good old Half-Life color. Oh, I think I know why. So I probably need to keep the plasma style. Yep, it's because it was um, vapor. 
So if you make it breeze, then your bottom bar will also keep the same color scheme as well. So yeah, keep that in mind. Um, depending on the color you want your bar, you could even go into air, apply that, and it would change it a little bit up. Breeze dark. Yeah, but I kind of want to keep it the same flavor. So yeah, this is what we are going to go with. And I think, let me add widgets. And because it's plasma, <laughs> can actually add some extra widgets to it too. So for those of you that are so inclined, you can customize the desktop mode. I think I'm going to leave that there. I don't know if I want to do the analog clock. Let's go with, so let's see, activities. They, I know Plasma had a file directory folder view. Yeah, you can add that one so you have a folder view of one of your folders in there. Bonk. Get new comics. Where's my XKCD? Come on. Wow, you've got a lot in here. XKCD. Apply. Okay. Um. So yeah, you can go through your different comics. <laughs> and it'll load them just fine. I don't know why I can't get... Okay, I don't know. It's fine. Remove. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. So yeah, you can rice it up. I haven't figured out how to change which um, compositor it would use, but I'm kind of looking into it. So yeah, you can rice it up your desktop mode and have fun with it. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Algorithm really seems to like that, and it actually helps it get directly out to more people. And you can even join the chat and interact when I'm not online or what have you in Discord, Gilded, XMPP, and check out my, my streaming stuff. Links are all in the description places, and I will see you guys later.